What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Pope Show. I want to do a small project because my buddy came in with his go-kart. He has the orange go-kart right there and his kids keep on hitting that front tire and he keeps breaking that spindle off wherever the connecting rod connects. He has to keep on welding and he has to bring the go-kart all the way back to my house, weld it, bring it back. So he wants me to make a bumper for him. So he brought the cart over, we went to go make the bumper, we did like two welds, and then my welder ran out of wire. And so we just took this picture right up here, that way I can try to go off of it to make a bumper. I don't know, I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to try making a bumper, I just don't know how, how it's going to bolt up to it because I didn't take any measurements of where some bolts could go, so I don't know. But this is the only weld that we got done. And that's just the center one. And the reason why I have this thicker piece of steel over is because I don't have any thinner wall or thinner than this. But I have one that slides right over it. Because when you do a butt joint like this, you're going to want another piece of steel in there. And then weld this one. And you know that'll make it a lot more solid than just a butt where you can just bend it and break it. So this is the end. And I'm trying to use my scrap steel. This is actually one of my old go-kart frames that I cut up. And our little selection we have of random randomness. So I'm going to try to make all these work. And then this is the material. And I think this is actually my second go-kart. Because I had a red and blue one. And this one uh, slides right over it just fine. So definitely going to be using that. Alright, let me see what we can figure out here. And this is not a sponsorship or anything. I just like the way the colors go with that. It's the only thing that matches. Alright, then I'm gonna use these, so I gotta clean them up. That only took about an hour and about three wrist surgeries. But, got all these wired wheels, got the front wire wheel. Now we can go ahead and mock it up and throw some tack welds on it. Of course it happened off screen, but I nicked myself with this stupid thing, so I think I'm gonna wear a glove. Alrighty. 
fixed. Or got them cleaned. Go take care of that real quick. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got Jake and the Pirates, man. Bam. All right. Thank you, Jake. All right. So since we're doing a butt joint right here, I'm gonna cut this tubing, put a section there. goes to prove to you I'm an idiot I tack weld this and I was like oh I'll just slide it over when I'm done tack welding yeah how am I gonna do that so now I'm gonna have to either cut that butt weld which I'm not gonna do I have to slip this down both sides put it around it and then weld it that way I'm gonna call that a bumper. I don't know if I'm gonna do ones here or not. So I'm gonna call it good on this because I think I might have just run out of gas actually. And plus, it's good enough for me. You know, really the one I'm making this bumper is just for this tire so it doesn't hit that. So all I'm gonna do now is clean up some of the rough, clean up some of the rough spots, all these welds and stuff. That way, for you know, when it gets to paint, it won't look as bad. Cause like I said, my welds are really that beautiful all right guys so I got it all welded up and ground down and I ground uh, these edges up you know cuz I don't want the kids hitting them being too pokey um, so this is what it's gonna be but now for mounting that's where it's gonna be kind of hard cuz the go-karts not here you know <laughs> and he's 40 miles away so I can't just drive over there but looking from the picture you know this hits right where we want it so I guess I'm just gonna drill some holes here and then for down here I'll drill holes and maybe he can make something work I don't know but let's set it up okay guys so here is and I'll weld in the holes drilled. So now it's time for some paint. And since his cart is orange and black, we're gonna go ahead, primer it with the white, and then come over with glossy black. Hey guys, so I got uh, three coats of primer on it, two coats of black on it, and this is what, it's still a little bit tacky. 
This is the finished product though. So look nice. And there's management behind me. Well, I think it turned out pretty good. Especially for just a bunch of scrap pieces and then he's getting it for free so he can't really complain. But I'm going to let that dry and then if I can I'm going to try to get him to get a picture with it um, on his actual go-kart. It's kind of busy so you might just see this but some other time I'll definitely get a picture eventually. Because my buddy came by and I had the bumper affixed to it. So this is what it's going to look like and then I am going to paint that white bar right there. I'm just going to end up doing it in the next episode. Next week, we're actually going to be doing this. If you guys can figure it out. There's no rear suspension in the back. And so my buddy dropped it off here for me to do. And I kind of want to get this out of the way because I don't have any place to store this. So I need to get this done before we can get back to the blaster, unfortunately. So the blaster is going to put on hold again. But then now you guys can see how to put rear suspension on a go-kart. So all right, guys. Next week, I'll see you. We'll be working on my friend's goat cart and get some rear suspension on it. All right, guys. Peace. I am going to go. It's so hard because it's so hard. It's so hard. It's so hard. It's so hard.